हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम वंस अगेन इन माय यूट्यूब चैनल टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस क्लास सेवन्थ सेकंड चैप्टर एंड दैट इज न्यूट्रिशन इन एनिमल्स एनिमल न्यूट्रिशन इंक्लूड्स न्यूट्रिएंट रिक्वायरमेंट मोड ऑफ इनटेक ऑफ फूड एंड इट्स यूटिलाइजेशन इन द बॉडी The components of food such as carbohydrates are complex substances. These complex substances are converted into the simpler substances, and that breakdown of those complex components of food into simpler substances is called digestion. We know that different animals have different ways of taking food, as we can consider. bees and hummingbirds suck the nectar of plants infants of human and many other animals feed on their mother's milk snake and python used to swallow their food so there are the different ways of nutrition for this we have the activity 2.1 is given there that is name of animal is written then we have the kind of food what kind of food they used to take and mode of feeding so we may take few example first one is snail so snail used to eat the leaves of green plants and its mode of feeding is scraping it used to scrap those leaves similarly as we have the mosquito there it used to suck the blood so juice and blood are the food mosquito used to take after that we have digestion in human beings for digestion there is a digestive system or we used to say there is a alimentary canal or digestive tract which start from mouth so there are the canal can be divided into various compartments as we have buccal cavity food pipe or oesophagus stomach small intestine large intestine rectum and anus so we have the diagram of human digestive system you may see there this is the buccal cavity then we have oesophagus here then stomach then we have liver gall bladder pancreas small intestine and large intestine this is the large intestine and then we have the rectum so these are the parts which you are seeing in the figure now we'll discuss that how human beings used to digest their food for that first of all we take the mouth and buccal cavity we used to take food inside our mouth and that is known as ingestion then we have the teeth to grind that food so generally human beings have the four type of teeth and these are incisor then we have canine premolar and molar so four types of teeth are there which are used for cutting and biting those are incisor for piercing and tearing those are canine and for chewing and grinding we have the molar and premolar teeth then we used to taste the food with the help of tongue we have the different regions of the tongue for the different taste then we have as i told you earlier there four type of teeth are there so in the young age 
we used to have the milk teeth then the set of milk teeth is replaces by permanent teeth after some times which used to remain there forever as we know that tooth decay used to occur if we eat something sweet or just like we can have the chocolate sweets cold drinks and other sugar products tooth decay may occur in this what used to happen that bacterial growth used to take place in our mouth which act on or take their food in the form of that sweet products which used to remain there in our mouth and in this process acid is released there by bacteria and that acid cause the damage to our teeth so to decay occur for preventing that we should brush our teeth regularly should rinse after eating sweet products and should clean the teeth regularly after that after mouth the food entered into the food pipe or oesophagus it is the pipe which connect mouth to stomach so after that food used to reach to the stomach in the stomach which is j shaped food remain there for 2 to 4 hour in stomach secretes mucus hydrochloric acid and digestive juices this secretion takes place inside the uh, stomach mucus used to prevent the lining of stomach from the hydrochloric acid and the hydrochloric acid used to kill the bacteria and provide the acidic medium for the digestive juices or enzymes we may say which used to break the proteins into the simpler substances after stomach the food enter into the small intestine the small intestine is highly coiled and is about 7.5 meters long it receives secretion from the liver and pancreas the liver is the largest gland of human body it is brown in color it secretes bile juices which is stored in gall bladder and the bile plays an important role in digestion of fats the pancreas is large cream colored gland located just below the stomach and it also used to give pancreatic juices which used to digest the carbohydrates the carbohydrates get broken into the simple sugars such as glucose fats into fatty acids and glycerol and proteins into amino acids after the di digestion absorption of digested food used to takes place in small intestine for that there are the finger like projections which are known as villi and those villi used to increase the surface area of intestinal wall so that maximum absorption may take place then that food is digested digested food used to taken by the body and that is known as assimilation that is sent to the cells for the oxidation to produce energy in this way carbon dioxide and water are released so water is 
again used by body while carbon dioxide is exhaled through lungs after that food used to enter into a large intestine which is wider than small intestine and near about 1.5 meter in length its major function is to absorb water and some salts from the undigested food material and the remaining waste passes into the rectum and then it is removed through anus and that is called ejection then the digestion in grass eating animals in grass eating animals like we have cow buffaloes etc they used to take the grass as we know that in grass there is a carbohydrate which is known as cellulose is present which we can't digest i mean human beings cannot digest but those ruminant animals can digest them because they have rumen where cellulose digestion takes place what they used to do first of all they will eat the food eat the grass they swallow that and after some time they used to again they will bring that into the mouth and then used to chew it this process is called rumination and these animals are called ruminants so their food used to get digested in that way now we have the feeding and digestion in amoeba as we know that amoeba is a microscopic and unicellular organism in which all the functions of the life used to take place in single cells so whenever amoeba sends its food around it they used to push out one or more finger like projection which are called pseudopodia and used to engulf the food and then food used to digest it inside the food vacuole thus the nutrition in amoeba takes place in that way then we have the exercise of this chapter first one is first question is fill in the blanks the main steps of digestion in humans are so as i told you earlier those steps are ingestion digestion absorption assimilation and ejection the largest gland in human body is liver the stomach release releases hydrochloric acid and digestive juices which act on food the inner wall of small intestine has many finger like outgrowths called villi then the mark true or false first one is digestion of starch start in stomach so it is false because it start inside the mouth the tongue helps in mixing food with saliva that's a true the gall bladder temporarily store bile that is true the ruminants bring back swallowed grass into their mouth and chew it for some times that is also true then we have the tick mark the correct answer in each of the following fat is completely digested in and its answer will be small intestine water from undigested food is absorbed mainly in the and that is large intestine so now we have question number 4 and that is match column first with column second so for the carbohydrates we know these are sugar then we have protein carbohydrate we know that are sugar then protein used to break into the amino acids and fats into fatty 
acids then we have the another question that is what are villi what is their location and function so as i told you earlier that villi are the finger like projection or outgrowth they are present in small intestine of our digestive system the villi increases the surface area of absorption of the digested food next question is where is the bile produced which component of food does it digest so bile juice is produced in the liver and it helps in the digestion of fats by breaking large fat globule into the smaller ones then another question is name the type of carbohydrates that can be digested by ruminants but not by humans so cellulose is the carbohydrate that can be digested by ruminants but not by humans because human lacks cellulose cellulase enzyme which is required to digest the cellulose we don't have that enzyme so next one is why do we get instant energy from glucose so glucose is a simpler sugar which is easily absorbed by blood whereas other carbohydrate are first broken down into glucose and then absorbed hence glucose gives instant energy then then next question is which part of the digestive canal is involved in so absorption of food which is takes place by villi so that is in a small intestine chewing of food chewing of food is takes place in buccal cavity the killing of bacteria in the stomach complete digestion of food small intestine formation of feces that is large intestine then we have right one similarity and one difference between the nutrition in omnivora and human beings so similarity both omnivora and human beings follow the holozoic type of nutrition and differences humans takes food through buccal cavity the omnivora food is ingested through pseudopodia then we have the last one is the match column first with column second so first one is salivary gland so what is the function of salivary gland that is secretion of saliva then we have stomach and it used to release acid then liver it used to produce the bile juice it means bile juice secretion then rectum storage of undigested food so that is here we can say then a small intestine digestion is completed and in large intestine absorption of water used to takes place so that is then we have to label the diagram so i will show you here we have this is stomach this is pancreas this is gall bladder small intestine large intestine rectum so i hope you have understood that and uh, if you like that please like my video and share it and subscribe my channel thank you very much